Hello, my name is Jacob Eason, and today I'm going to teach you about the theory of kindness. So, in moral philosophy, there are three big well, philosophies that people think of. Firstly, there's utilitarianism. And utilitarianism basically states, in the simplest terms possible, that to be happy, you maximize the amount of utility or happiness for everyone else in the system. However, there's also Kantism. Kantism says, never break a lie, uh, sorry, never tell a lie, um, don't break the law, etc., etc. Now, the problem with utilitarianism and the problem with Kantism are, is that utilitarianism, you maximize the amount of happiness for everyone else, except for yourself. I apologize for my dogs. They are, uh, they're dogs. And then there's Kantism. The problem with Kantism is that even if your lie is, has, is protecting someone from danger, you can't tell that lie under Kantism. And then, of course, is deontology. And in deontology, essentially it means to not stray from your duties and, and uh, objectives and obligations, all of that. So, when you combine utilitarianism, maximize the amount of happiness for everyone else but yourself, Kantism, don't tell a lie, even if it's protecting someone from danger. Deontology, never stray from your obligations, even if that obligation has a morally questionable outcome. So, all together, this is what I call the theory, or there's an acronym here, of stress. The theory of stress. Now, the theory of stress. It's different from the theory of kindness, but they are related. Because when you have stress, what happens next is you combine that with gratitude. You combine that with gratitude to get the theory of lemonade, which I denote as an L subscript M. So the theory of lemonade is essentially saying that when you take your bad past experiences and combine it with gratitude towards others, you are making lemonade out of lemons, making good experiences out of bad ones. Now, the theory of lemonade essentially leads to an empathetic connection. It leads to empathy. Now, when you have empathy, when you have empathy, you can have kindness. So this leads to the theory of kindness. But it doesn't stop there. When you have kindness, you do good. You do kind things. You do good. Now, you, this isn't just the entire theory. Because when, let's say, you never learn how to show gratitude. And instead, we take the theory of stress and we multiply it with time. We multiply it with time. Now what happens next is we get what I call, give me one second to erase, we get what I call the theory of bad. And the theory of bad essentially states that when you're stressed, you're, you're stressed from your obligations, from promises, 
and secrets and trying to make others happy when with excluding yourself from that list is multiplied with time. You get this, the theory of bad. So if the theory of stress multiplied with time leads to the theory of bad, how do you get from the theory of bad to empathy, to the theory of lemonade, to kindness? Well, if we have the theory of bad, which we'll say is the acronym TTOB, then you combine it not with gratitude, but with understanding. Theory of bad plus understanding. Because gratitude, because gratitude needs to be taught. You have to be taught how to show gratitude. It's not something that we inherently know how to do. But understanding, observing our surroundings, and making analytical thoughts based off of those observations, something we can do on our own. So when we have the theory of that, and we combine it with understanding, what we now get is the theory of lemonade. And the theory of lemonade, as we know, leads to empathy. Empathy leads to kindness. And kindness leads to doing good. So, if you are at the theory of bad, and even if you were taught gratitude and you forgot, which should happen sometimes. You're not in an unredeemable place. You're merely off track a little bit. Because I see it not as a line, but as a cycle. We have stress. And stress leads to the theory of bad. The theory of bad, when combined with understanding, which we'll, script as, we will denote as U.S. understanding, also the United States, but so we get stress, which is the theory of bad, which combined with understanding leads to empathy, which leads to kindness. But if we focus too much on being kind to others and not enough on ourselves, we get back to stress. And if we are, we have stress, and that leads to the theory of bad, but we take out the understanding part, and instead we do gratitude, combined with gratitude, then we get the theory of lemonade, kindness, which eventually don't take care of ourselves will lead back to stress. So as you can see, if we don't if we want to break this cycle, what we have to do is be kind to others, but also be kind to ourselves. Because this cycle of stress, fear of bad, gratitude or understanding theory of lemonade, kindness, doing good, and back to stress. If we want to break this cycle, there's a seventh step we have to do. And that seventh step is being kind to ourselves. Because when we are kind to ourselves, and we are kind to others, we break this cycle. And instead, we are happy and not stressed. Thank you.